A new COVID like virus is here. Every second person is experiencing prolonged post viral cough, breathlessness, and sneezing. It is causing throat ache, persistent cough, fever, ear ache, body ache, fatigue, and loss of voice. Now, these are symptoms of what seems to be a strain of a viral infection that is affecting both children and adults across the country. Viral uh, normally presents with fever, cold, and cough. Fever can be moderate to high grade. They'll be running nose, sneezing, and a lot of cough. And you'll find that it starts with one family member and quickly other family members get it. For example, if the father has got it, then the mother will get it, the child will get it, the maid will get it. So it's highly communicable and spreads rapidly from one person to the other. Health officials are concerned over the rising trend of H3N2 influenza cases. Now, both COVID-19 and influenza have similar symptoms and they may last up to 2-3 to three months. They are circulating simultaneously in the community. ICMR has said that this subtype of influenza appears to cause more hospitalizations than other influenza subtypes. In many parts of the country, doctors are also reporting an increase in patient loads in hospitals. All the medical staff and they are taking measures and we have instructed all the medical staff how to tackle the case and we'll supplied the medicine also. We have almost uh, in given a lot of medical people vaccination also, all medical staff also. H3N2 influenza can be transmitted from one person to another through droplets released when coughing, sneezing or talking by an infected individual. Chairman of the Institute of Internal Medicine Education, Randeep Guleria said, H3N2 virus is a mutation of H1N1 virus. Now, it spreads every year around this time. The number of cases are rising because of its mutation. Now, amid soaring cases of influenza cases across the country, people have been rushing to medical stores in order to take antibiotic tablets without consulting doctors. ICMR recommended people suffering from painful cuffs to not risk their lives by taking pills without proper medical consultations. Now, with Holi here, people should be careful, especially those with underlying comorbid conditions. Here are the do's and don'ts. Wash your hands frequently, cover your cuffs and sneezes, don't touch your face unnecessarily, avoid crowded places, stay hydrated and consume plenty of fluids. The ICMR has started a pan-India respiratory surveillance across 30 viral research and diagnostic labs. About half of all inpatient severe acute respiratory illness and outpatient influenza-like illnesses were found to be H3N2. That's a different kind of viral. Uh, it can be diagnosed by a simple throat swab. Symptoms are fever, cold and cough, which is severe. And if you diagnose it early, then there is specific antiviral treatment which can be offered to the child. The H3N2 virus has not resulted in death in India till now, but can cause prolonged illness and have a severe impact on the immune system of the infected person.